Hey there. Are you fed up with those tiny ants invading your kitchen? You're in the right place. Today, we're going to walk you through some effective tips and tricks on how to get rid of those pesky ants once and for all. Ready to reclaim your kitchen? Let's dive in. But, first, what are the tools and materials you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get rid of those pesky ants. Get rid of it! Identify the ant species. First things first, we need to know our enemy. Different ant species require different treatment methods, so grab your magnifying glass and take a closer look at these little invaders. Are they big, small, or somewhere in between? What color are they? Do they have wings or not? How do they move and interact with each other? Pay attention to all these details and then hit the books or the internet to research common household ants in your area. If you're still unsure, don't hesitate to consult the experts. They'll help you identify your unwelcome guests. Examples of common household ants. Here's a quick rundown of some common ants you might encounter. Odorous house ants, small, dark brown, attracted to sweets, and smell rotten when crushed. Carpenter ants, large, black, and wood burrowing, not good for your home structure. Pharaoh ants, tiny, yellow, light brown, or red, often found near moisture and can contaminate food. Pavement ants, dark brown or black, usually near sidewalks and driveways, but can also raid your kitchen for food. Determine ants entry points. Now let's play detective and find out where these ants are coming from. Follow the trail and observe their behavior. Ants leave a scent trail to help them navigate, so pay attention to where they're coming from and where they're going. Next, inspect your kitchen for any cracks, gaps, or holes that might be their entry points. Be thorough, as these gaps can be as small as a pinhole. Mark the entry points you find so you can target them for treatment later. Eliminate food sources. We all know ants love food, so let's cut off their supply. Keep your kitchen spotless by wiping down counters, tables, and floors after every meal. Store food in airtight containers and don't forget about pet food. Ants love that too. Also, empty your garbage bin regularly and rinse it out to keep ants from feasting on your trash. Remove water sources. Ants need water to survive, so eliminate any standing water in your kitchen. Check your faucets and pipes for leaks and repair them ASAP if you find any. Wipe up water spills immediately and keep your sink and countertops dry. Seal entry points. Time to seal those entry points. Use caulk or sealant to close gaps and cracks around baseboards, pipes, and electrical outlets. Apply weather stripping to doors and windows to keep ants from sneaking in. And don't forget to replace damaged window screens. Apply natural repellents. Let's try some natural repellents to avoid harsh chemicals. Essential oils like peppermint, eucalyptus, and lemon can work wonders. Mix a few drops with water in a spray bottle and spray it where ants are commonly seen. You can also try diatomaceous earth or borax, sprinkled near entry points and along ant trails. Vinegar works too, just mix equal parts water and white vinegar and spray it on ant trails and entry points. Want to get creative? Try using bay leaves, whole cloves, or crushed mint leaves to repel ants. Or spread a line of cinnamon, cayenne pepper, or coffee grounds near entry points to keep them from coming in. Use ant bait stations. If natural repellents aren't cutting it, let's move on to ant bait stations. They're a more targeted approach, and they work by having ants bring the bait back to their colony, where it's shared and ultimately kills the queen. Be patient, as this process can take a few days to a couple of weeks. Place bait stations near entry points and along ant trails, and remember to keep them out of reach of children and pets. Monitor and adjust. Now that you've taken action, it's time to monitor the situation. Keep an eye on the ant trails and bait stations to see if their numbers are decreasing. If the problem persists, don't lose hope. You might just need to adjust your strategy. Try a different bait, 
or consult a pest control expert for advice on how to tackle your specific ant problem. Prevention is key. Finally, let's talk about prevention. The best way to avoid an ant invasion is to make your kitchen as unappealing as possible for them. Keep your kitchen clean, seal food in airtight containers, and remove standing water. Regularly inspect your home for entry points and seal them up. And don't forget to treat the perimeter of your home with repellents or bait stations to create a barrier that ants won't want to cross. So there you have it. With a bit of determination and a solid strategy, you can say goodbye to those pesky ants for good. Remember to be patient and persistent, and your kitchen will be ant-free in no time. We hope these tips and tricks help you on your ant-fighting journey. If you have any other tips or experiences you'd like to share, leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more helpful content. Happy ant hunting! Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If so, please like, share, and comment to let me know what you thought. Your feedback is important to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.